Let's go C4. I'm going to play B4. It's a little bit weird, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's go knight, C knight E5. I might go B5, so I might just play like... I feel like I've had... I feel like I did something like this before. Um, it's going to take and play like bishop B2, I guess. Takes with a pawn, which I thought was a little bit dubious. Can I grab? I mean, I really want to go for the gobble gobble, but I don't think it works. I guess I'll just take. Play D4, stop knight C5. Of course, very important that I don't allow this. A little bit slow here at the start, but we'll, we'll get we'll wind into it as always. Remember. It should be emote. It's emote, right? Wait, is it not? Emote. It, 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 we, we are in emote mode, so you guys are trolling me. Um, Wait a second. Now I gotta focus. I guess I'll go here to trade some bishops. If he takes, I'm gonna go queen b2 and take the pawn next turn. Seems like my position should be fairly decent, but we'll see what he does. Well, ring in. Oh, I also like queen d6, maybe. But whatever. <laughs> gonna go here. Bishop h3, I can play bishop f1 or g3, depending what I wanna do. Maria, the cloudy day. Okay, he's really thinking here. Um, I mean, it's something like Bishop D3 maybe, but it still looks pretty bad. A little bit too slow as well. Let's see what he does here. It was knight b6, which I don't particularly understand. I'll just take the pawn, hit the knight. I think this just loses material, actually. It goes there, but... Okay, I can go g3 and just ignore. There's no queen e4, of course, so my knight covers the square. I mean, the bishop looks very menacing on uh, h3, but I don't think it actually does anything. First of all, I can just take the pawn. I can also grab this one. Hmm... A little bit risky, but I'm gonna go for this just because I, I think I, I think I'm fine here, and also I think it's pretty safe to play, even though I, even though I've got these weaknesses. Um, go like here, maybe. I just want to start pushing P, basically. Could have played Queen Queen E4 also, but. My idea is very similar. I want to go one, two, three, four, five, and win the game. That's it. He's also way too slow. There's the H6. Okay, let's start pushing the P up the board. Because now it's very scary. I just want to go one, two, three. It's my my pawn is rolling fast. Twenty. Okay. Now I just gotta make sure if I. I could play e4 here, but I think I'm just gonna keep pushing p. It's a little bit risky what I'm doing though. I should have played a6. Why don't I just go a6? I could sack the queen. Should I sack the queen for the memes? Is a big question. This guy is 2,500. Do I think I'm good enough to beat him if I sack the queen? I can definitely... Oh, I, oh wait. Do I have G... I might have G4 also. Wait, G4? No, no. G4, he just goes rook B1. Do I sack the queen or not? I mean, I think I'm good enough to beat him if I sack the queen, but it's also risky. 
It's also risky if I'm wrong. Uh, it's risky. Ah, who cares? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's have some fun and try to uh, meme. Keep the meme dream alive. Let's go here. Go here, I guess. Go here, attack the rook. Hmm. How do I do this? It's not easy. Um let's play here. Go here, attack the pawn. Oh, but now I think I can go after the pawn and I should be winning. I've also got a flying B. Very, 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 very questionable decision by me, but I'll, I'll make it work. Um, so tricky still. How do I do this? I guess I'll go. Was there? Wait, but now I can go here, and I'm threatening mate in one. There's just mate in one, so I win the game. Or no, it's not mate in one. Sorry, he's guarding. He can go here, but it's still winning. Um, wait, but this should be winning. No, I take with check. I think just check and king g4 rook f4 is mate. Yeah, this is also checkmate. There we go. We get the win. One up, one down. Okay, one out of one, Dayak playing a lot. Of, I mean, the strongest players are who? It looks like Dayak and Nero Ditsky are the two strongest. Let's keep going, G6. A little bit risky playing like, against this guy. He's kind of dangerous. Um, I'll go here. Play E5, standard, maybe H6. Maybe just Queen E7. Play h6 to tickle the bishop, but I think queen e7 is just better. Like knight c4, I can go knight d7. How do I do this? I think h6 should be the correct move. This castle here. You guys are making weird faces. I don't know what's so funny, but something's funny. Um, how do I do this? Maybe I think I'm going to go b6 here. I'm like bishop b7. I'm trying to fianchito the bishop, basically. Yeah, you guys are making weird faces, and I don't really know why, so... I got to focus. Go here. Maybe knight c5 somewhere. Maybe, actually, you guys are going to do it on purpose now to confuse me. Exciting times. Um, not actually sure what I'm supposed to play for here. I could go c5. I mean, I could go a. I think I'm going to go a5 first. And I'm going to go rook c8 with the idea of maybe c5. Maybe I go g5 somewhere. Maybe. Trying to confuse the issue a little bit here for my opponent. Bishop c4. I could play g5. I could also take and go c5. Could also go c5 right away. I think I'm going to go c5 right away and keep g5 alive for another move or two. He could go b5, I guess. He does. For some reason, I did not actually think about that move. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is not what I wanted. I guess I'll go here, maybe 98, 96. It's a little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous. I should still be okay, but I don't love my position. I mean, I have this nice little fork. Well, let's see what we got. He goes there. What, wait, what did he just play? Oh, he played a4. Let's go knight d6, hit the bishop. He won logical. Okay, so I have h5 somewhere in here. h5, g4, maybe. Maybe I go... Uh, I think I'm going to go knight f8 and knight g6. Try to put the other knight in the center of the board if I can. I don't know if it makes any sense, but it's what I'm going to try to do. I mean, he always has bishop d5. Yeah, I mean, I think I have to go c4. If I don't play c4, I don't know what I'm actually doing. Now this, now this pawn on uh, e4 is a little bit weak, though. 
It's also G4, Rose. It's some G4 trick, like H5, G4. He's, he's moving a little bit slowly here. He goes H4. I mean, I'm trying to figure out if I have time to go Knight D7 or not. I think I've got time, so I'm going to go for this. I want to maybe put the Knight on C5 or F6 here, depending on what he does. It goes there. Now, the key for me here is how do I keep the pressure on? Like, I do have Knight C5, but it's not right. Uh, somehow I need to do something on the king side. Goes knight f3, which I think is bad. I think f3 was a much better move. Now I get knight h5 and knight f4. And now things start to kind of go the wrong direction, I think. Still not easy for me to prove, but... There, I could go g4. No. Go here, I guess. There's knight h2, logical. He is, what do I do here, though? I guess I'll go knight f4. Knight d3 idea is incoming. Still very tricky to play, but if I get these knights active, I have chance. Although I think I'm actually a little bit worse here. There's knight g4. I have knight d3. Um, what's wrong with this actually? Go here. I should be better now, I think, because there's too much pressure in the center of the board. You have three weight. Oh, I can't play f5, so I'm pinned. Annoying. Knight c4 doesn't look right. How do... King of eight looks insane, but I think it's actually a good move, so I'm going to play it. I just want to go f5 to the pin. And I couldn't do it because the other pin. Who he does. Twenty-three, twenty-three. Oh wait, now I've got. Am I blundering or not? I think this works now. Yeah, it's too slow. I think I've got the game in hand now. I also have a four. Uh, nine, eight. What's that? Do nothing. Okay, now I'll just take with the rook. I go queen g7, and I should be covering up pretty easily here. Yeah, I just cover up. I've got rook e4. Okay, so he's trying to activate the knight. He's got knight g6 looming, but I think I can just ignore it by walking my king up. Yeah, we get the win. Okay, good stuff. Two out of two. Let's keep moving on. Let's see who else is still playing. Okay, here we go. Round number three. Let's play knight f3. The faster the game, the more fun it is to watch. Exactly. Do I still want to retire when I hit my 40th? Um, probably then, if not sooner, if I'm just being brutally honest. But again, we will see. Play e3, c4. Same stuff. Same. Um, go b3, bishop b2. Who is this, by the way? Dishonor on your cow? Oh, I, I feel like I've seen that user before. Just take, go bishop b5. Why do I feel like I've seen that? Who is this? Leonardo Tristan. Okay, this guy clearly knows what he's doing. Very annoying. Let's play knight d2. This is the old school stuff that everybody seems to know these days. Could have played f4 too, but who cares? Okay, rook c8. I don't think rook c8 is correct, actually. Let's go here and trade. I vaguely recall, I think, bishop a5 being the correct move. Take, of course. Now, I could take. I mean, I'm going to take and go knight f3, I think. I'm going to just try to play this very slow and simple. I don't know if this is actually working, but I'm going to try to do it. Pawn's weak on d5. I can play, like, rook c1 somewhere. See what he does. Try and play for a very, very small positional advantage here. Something, like, really, really minute. Minutia or my whatever the word is, I don't even know. But try and play for something very, very small here. 
I go queen e2, it's a move. I could play a3, maybe a3 to go b4. Very tricky move here. Because b4 will tickle the rook and the pawn on d5 will hang. And I never, 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 never had before. Whoa, whoa, I don't have a feeling. Whoa. Who he does. I should actually think because he's thinking right now. I have b4 here, which is definitely a move. Um, Let's go for it. Who is this, by the way? Oh, Leonardo Tristan. Why do I feel like I've never heard that name before? Isn't that Uruguay? Oh, that's Argentina. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oi, Gewalt. Uh, let's go here at the bishop. I can trade and take the pawn. I'm probably better. I mean, Rook B1 also was a move, too, I guess. Rook D8. I mean, we'll go here. I mean, Bishop B2 is a move. Trying to get like some kind of really tiny advantage here. If D4, I have Queen B3, I think. Or Queen D3 as well. Goes there. Of course, I go here, because if he takes, I have Queen B3. Goes there, logical. Um. Actually, now though I can go queen d3 and maybe rook d1. I've also got e4. I feel like he might have misplayed this a little bit somehow. There's also rook b3. There's rook c1. I think he kind of misplayed this just a touch. Actually, why didn't I go rook b? Oh, it's still, maybe it's the same thing. Because if he goes d4, I have rook b3 anyway. Oh, oh, sometimes I get a feeling. Um, Go here, pressure the bishop takes I just take I get a good feeling whoa oh sometimes I get a good feeling that I never 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 had before no no I get a good feeling yeah oh oh sometimes okay I mean I don't really want to play e4 um but actually wait Take six, rook d. Wait, don't I just have rook d1 here? I saw this move. I assumed I had b5 here. Yeah, he blundered. Now I think after queen d5, I go rook b4 and I win. And he can't keep the pin alive. It goes here. I just take, 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 take. And then I ice skater him on the back rank. Yep, we got the win. Playing Genghis. Let's play c5. Let's play the Genghis. Let's go, let's go e5. One of these old lines. I'm gonna play this line. Take. Oh, he's gonna play this one, yeah. Okay, let's go here. This is not actually very good, but I'm gonna do it anyway. He seems confused, which is which is a good sign. I had this, I think, as Fabiano in um, the Chess Champs Tour. I think it was in the it was a Chessable Masters, one of those online events a while back. He takes, which I know is not right. Um, Knight g5 is the right move. Okay, with C pawn. He goes C3. I mean, I, I can always just play Knight f6, I guess. Um, Now, the question is, do I take e4 or not? I think I just castle here. 
hard to judge what's going on here. I guess I pre-move. Because F4, I have queen B6 check, and then I hit the pawn with the right triangle. Huh? Wait a second. I must be missing something. Wait, queen B6, king H1, bishop B2, takes, takes. Okay, but the good thing about this position is that, I, I mean, I'm up on time, so I probably just should think here. I don't but, mm, nah, who cares? Let's just take. I'm gonna go knight D2. And I probably should play D5 here. I mean, D6 maybe is okay, but it feels like playing for activity has got to be the right play. He could play Bishop D5, I guess. But we'll see. <laughs> he takes... Now, I assume... I have multiple options. I have bishop g4, I have bishop f5. Bishop g4 looks correct, but I have a feeling that somehow it's not right. On the other hand, it looks very... Yeah, bishop f5... I, I'm going to go for this. I don't know which one's right, but I'm going to trust my instinct. Bishop f5, knight f3, knight e5, or knight d4 doesn't look right. I think I have to be very, very fast here. So, it was queen c1. Okay, but now I can just trade. And I, I thought I could just play that rook d8. Can I go like D6? But now I have this to hit the rook. That was a big mistake, by the way, because he doesn't have time to go G4 now. And rook B5 of 98. I also have rook C8. Let's see what I should do. Rook C8 makes a lot of sense. Um, I mean, I know I'm much better here. If I go rook C8. B8, rook E1, which should be 7. I also just go bishop c8, which is maybe very good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go here on bishop a6. Very simple idea. Just bishop a6 takes, and once I'm up a pawn, I mean, maybe he can still save the game, but it looks really bad. So he goes knight f3. I have bishop b7 also, but I think this must be right. It goes there. I go here. Take the pawn. I mean, I'm up a pawn here. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm winning, but there's f6. Knight c6. The 8. Knight six, rook c8, rook d4, rook takes, takes. D7. Do I have any other tricks? Like, king f 8s also a move here, maybe. But then there's rook d... No, I think I've got to do this. I think this is correct, but we'll see. Yeah, now I go rook c8, of course. He's going to go rook d4. And I take and play rook c7 at the end to stop the kebab on the seventh rank. And the point is I couldn't go rook c2 because there's check in here and that draws the game. Goes a4. But the problem is now I walk the king up. Big, big mistake. Because now there's king e6 and rook c5. And I think I'm close to winning, actually. Very, very close to winning. Wait, what? Am I missing something? I probably should use more time. So if he takes, I go check and takes, and I win the game. Rook h5 runs into g6. Rook b5 runs into rook c5, and I think I'm going to win the game. Still, he goes f5. Okay, take. I mean, it's hard to believe this is... Yeah, this is just winning. So I just go b5, rook b7. Very simple win. Go here, rook behind the pawn. Actually, is this winning? Hmm. Oh, he goes, whoa, what was that? Okay. But now it's just very easy. If I just go rook b6 to guard, and I just walk the king up. This is, I just walk the dog, and the rest is very basic. 
Strange choice. Now yeah, we're gonna get the win and we're gonna be four out of four. Um and I go here, guard the pawns, and yeah, it's just very simple. Just walk the king all the way over eventually. Actually, King C3 maybe is a slight mistake. Eh, that's a slight mistake. Okay, let's go like here, I guess. Go here. Okay, I mean, if this isn't winning, I don't know what is. I go here. I've got F5, F4. Yeah, it's just easily winning. Check F4. Even takes just wins. There we go. GG. Here we get the win. Four out of four. Good stuff. And okay, here we go. I played this dude earlier. Let's play Knight of Three again. Just keep it simple here. It's a kind of magic, 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 magic. Play Knight of Three. Go E3. Play C4, of course. Or no, he's going to go C5. So I'll play the B3 Bishop B2. I mean, I've already played this, what, like three? Three, not three times I've only had two whites but I think I've already played this twice so far it seems to be a pretty stable setup so let's just play chess okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna take and go to c3 d4 I had this in the early tilted Tuesday against Felix uh Felix blow Gardner or blow Blober or whatever Felix Felix the Bond villain whatever his name was um so I'm gonna do it again g3 Bishop g2 let's castrol short now the question is, do I take? And I think I am going to take and go Bishop G2 and Castles and Knight D2 maybe. Goes A5. I don't actually like A5 for some reason. It feels dubioso. I don't know why, but it just feels a little bit too loose to me. Because I have like Knight D2, Knight D4 somewhere. It feels a touch weak. Just a touch weak. I don't know why, but it feels a touch smelly. As Gary Kaspar would say. He'd say smelly. That's what Gary would do. Um uh 94 looks completely reasonable. <clears throat> Although Queen C3 was not a threat. I could have actually just gone Queen 2 and Rook FC1, but okay, whatever. Whatever, as the, as all the kids these days like as kids these days like to say, like, whatever. Like whatever. Um I play as Rook D8, so I guess I'll go Knight F3. I could have played Knight E2 as well, but I think it's fine. Like, oh my god. Um, let's go Queen D2, me Rook C1. Maybe I should play A4 to fix the weakness, actually. Whoops, let's go H4, fix the King side. Now I can create a Bastion, though. I think H5 is a fairly serious mistake. Um, I can go Knight G5 here to pressure the Bishop. And now I've got some hooks in him. Mm, let's go here. Takes, takes, takes. I have a four. Now we see it's logical. Um, I think I'm. I think now I'm gonna go a four. I still have knight d4 back. Okay, he goes knight d7. Now, I could play f4, but I think I just go knight f3. And, oh, he's got knight c5, though. Okay, I guess I go... I need to go, like, queen b5 or something very soon. I need to get very aggressive here. Now, rook c5 is pretty reasonable. Let's just go b4. Okay, I take. I've got rook b1. I'm trying to sort of get it active here. A little bit hard to judge what's going on. It goes there. I assume I go here, pressure the pawn. I can always take the bishop later. If I take, there's some knight c5 silliness. If I... Wait, I feel like I've got some... Wait, maybe... Maybe I go here, guard all the pawns. Pressure everywhere. There's also knight f4 looming. If 
Ba-da-dum, bum, bum. Bum, ba-da-dum, ba-dum. Um, 96 to 6 Rook D5 just looks winning. Oh, wait, Knight 6, he's got Knight B5. Bishop D5, Knight C3. Can also sack, but I don't like... Um, I also have Bishop D... Uh, Bishop D5, Knight B5, Bishop C4. Wait, Bishop D5, Rook D4. D4 takes, takes. I, this looks okay to me. Maybe I'm blundering, but I don't see it. There's also knight b5, queen c4, rook d4, cd4, knight b5, bishop e6. I think he blundered, but I'm I, I, maybe I'm the one blundering. The longer he thinks, the more confident I become, though. And he's not moving quickly, so I probably didn't blunder. No, I didn't. So he blundered. I go... Here, pressure the pawn on b7. It's always a good time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, whoa, oh, it's always a good time. Oh, whoa, oh, it's always a good time. It's always a good time. Okay, how, now I think what I need is somehow I need to... I need to massage the king side. So let's go here and maybe knight g5. I'm worried about these rooks. They look so loose. Um, obviously. Let's just go for it. I'm going to sack the rook and go like queen d7 and knight g5 and use these knights. Um... Also queen d7. Well, let's just go here. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, oh. It's always a good time. Oh, oh. We don't even have to try. It's always a... Okay, I gotta be careful. Wait. Um, let's take. I assume I just use these knights. No, let's use these knights. I mean, there's queen a2 somewhere in here, too. I mean, this looks so scary. Look at these knights. This is free rook and these knights, mate. Okay, there we go. We got the win. Five out of five.